John Deere. I'm the owner of Adorable Ideas. And today I want to talk about the thread type that nobody really likes to use, which is metallic threads. Uh, a lot of people avoid metallics because they seem to be very difficult to run on machines and you constantly have thread breaks as you're running your designs. Now, the first thing I want to let you know is all metallics are not created equal. You want to try various brands and find out the best metallic for your specific machine. I, in the past, have run a metallic uh, brand on one machine and then taken that same thread, which ran perfectly, onto a different brand of machine and had negative results. So you really want to test the metallics as you're uh, you know, going along before you stick to one in particular. Now, with regards to metallics, the primary reason why a metallic thread will break is because of the way it comes off the spool. When you have a thread on the machine and it's coming off the spool like this, it's winding itself around, it's going to cause kinks in the metallic thread. Now, to give you a little example, I'll just use this toilet paper here. As we have the toilet paper coming across like this, you can see that the toilet paper is starting to wind itself around and it's really not coming off the roll in a smooth way. So what you want to make sure that you do is you have your metallics actually coming off the spool so that it's not creating any kinks. If you have kinks coming off that, eventually that thread will hit the eye of the needle and it'll cause a thread break. And that's why metallics run well for a certain period of time and then all of a sudden you have thread break after thread break. If we look at our toilet paper once again, you can see that if you have it come off the roll like this, we're really not creating that same effect and causing those breaks. Now, you can actually create your own little metallic thread holder. Now, I could sell these for $19.95, but I think you could probably make your own. It really just consists of a styrofoam cup and a pen, which I've actually put the pen through the cup and put the spool actually on the inside so that I have a horizontal spool which means that as this thread comes off it's actually coming out nice and smoothly and we don't have to worry about any kinks that are being created. Now the other thing that you want to make sure that you do when you're running metallic threads is slow your machine speed down. The slower the, the actual speed the less kinks when it hits the eye of the needle. So these are two quick recipes that will help you to run your metallic threads a lot smoother than any other way. <laughs>